Hey guys, let's get more news from Dallas Cowboys, but first don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Why a Jets trade for Vikings, QB Kirk Cousins, makes sense for both teams in sinking seasons. The 2023 New York Jets experienced a mechanical failure immediately after takeoff. But there's still time to land at their desired destination rather than circling back on the same tired flight plan. They just need to do one thing, trade for quarterback Kirk Cousins, Sunday further illustrating it's the most sensible move for the NYJ and Minnesota Vikings, Cousins' employer, since 2018. While Aaron Rodgers is recovering from Achilles' surgery, the supposedly rehabilitated Zach Wilson is threatening to scuttle a third consecutive Jets season. He led them to 39 yards in the first half of Sunday's 15-10 loss to the New England Patriots, who have beaten their supposed AFC East rivals 15 times in a row and are 5-0 against Wilson. He wound up with 157 yards, passing for a constantly stalled offense and wasted another strong defensive showing from the Jets, something he did twice last year against New England. Head coach Robert Sala continues to seek a positive spin but has little alternative. Right now. We're still early in the season, Sala said. We knew, even with Aaron at quarterback, there was going to be some hiccups along the way because of a new offense, a new play caller, new O-line, just new players on the offensive side of the ball. The Dallas Cowboys are interested in hiring Kirk Cousins. Now you've got this curveball that was sent to us, and so they're acclimating. They're gonna get better, but it's still very early in the season. And Wilson? Right now, Zach is the best, quarterback, said Sala, he's who gives us the best chance to win. Right now, even Sala making the qualifier. He can praise Wilson's improved pocket presence, fundamentals and decision-making all he wants, there was nowhere to go but up in those areas. What's unchanged are the results, Wilson's career record now 8-16. And his talented supporting cast again appears frustrated with Wilson at the helm, this franchise looking ever more likely to waste another season of needed progression for its young core while Rodgers heals. Among qualified passers, Wilson's was the NFL's lowest rated in 2022, 72.8. This year? He's at 57.0. Since his rookie year in 2021, his 69.2 QB rating, 54.9% completion rate and 17-22 to TD to INT ratio are all worst in the NFL. And you fan, what do you think of the Kirk Cousins situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.